In a previous video, we used ChatGPT to create the outline of a website along with some of the website content and copy. We also used Midjourney to produce realistic stock photography so we didn't have to rely on stock photographs. Now we're gonna pull all of this together to produce a website using a no-code tool in WordPress. And let's see if we can actually build a website using AI. Okay, so in a previous video, we used ChatGTP to create a business name for a pet treats business. It gave us the outline for a website called Bark Bites. So it gave us the homepage, the products, the about, blog, contact shop, my account. And also it allowed us to go a step further to produce more content for the homepage. It's given us an overview of what we could include on the homepage. So featured products, why choose Bark Bites, subscription service, customer reviews, special offers, news, etc., etc. Okay, and then we dove a little bit more. Okay, we then asked it to produce as content for the featured products on the homepage. And for sure, it, it did a great job of outputting text that we could use on our website. And on top of that, we used Midjourney to produce realistic stock photography for a dog treats website. Okay, so we are gonna be pulling this together. Now, first and foremost, in order to build a website, we need to set the website up. So I'm just gonna quickly go through that now. We are using WordPress and we're using Elementor. So following on from what we did previously, let's call this Bark Bytes. Okay, we don't currently have a logo, so I'm just gonna skip that. Okay, so we're gonna be editing a blank canvas from here. Like so. so, what we could do is we could go to, first of all, we could actually have a look at adding a logo. So here we are at Midjourney. So Midjourney is an AI tool that works by a series of keywords going into a prompt and it will go away and it will produce something for you. So let's just go with, so if we write imagine, let's see what this does at producing as a logo. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I'm not focusing too much on the logo but let's say create me a website logo. Um, simple pet treats. So I'm gonna remove that comment called Bark Bites. Simple pet treats, um, clear background. All right, and let's just see what this comes back with. And 8K, because I want it to be high resolution. Um, brilliant, let's just see what this comes back with. Now while that is creating now, let's continue setting this up. So here we are in Elementor. So we don't yet have a header and we are left with a blank page. So I'm just gonna go to the WordPress admin. Here we are at pages, let's just click edit. Let's just give this, give this a page. So let's just call this homepage. Edit with Elementor. And here we are down in the corner, we just want to remove the page title and there we are with a header and our main content. Okay, so I want to add a hero section here. So we can go as far to add one ourselves or what, what we can cheat and we can just use a series of predefined blocks and just input one of those. So have we got a website hero? Okay, so we do have a hero here. So I manage pupil realism. Okay, so any one of these would probably be fine. Let's just go with this one, let's just go with this one. So I'm just gonna insert this. So not really very pet treat friendly right now, but the, the bare bones is there. We've got our content over on the left and we have an image over on the right, so we can put our hero image in there. So let's go back to Mid Journey and let's just see what our logo looks like. Okay, and we've got some option here. So we've got Bark Bite, Bark Bats, Back Bite. Okay, so that clears that up. I don't think Mid Journey is any good right now for creating logos because it cannot understand the query of you asking specifically for something written a specific way and it's just come back with gibberish. So I don't think the AI is intuitive enough yet to produce logos, so let's just bypass that. So here we've got Creative Play, uh, Playground for Creative People. So, all right, so we wanna change this. Okay, so let's go back to ChatGTP and let's ask it, write me a home Okay, so write me a homepage hero header for our pet website. So here's a sample hero header, Bark Bites, pet treat business website. Welcome to Bark Bites, wholesome treats for happy pups. Okay, so I like that. So we can actually make use of both of these, to be honest. Okay, we can say, here is going to be our wholesome treats for pups. I mean, style-wise, I'd like that on two lines, so I'm just gonna knock the copy down slightly. Wholesome treats for happy pups. Okay, now what I'd like to do as well is I'm just gonna chuck a heading in there and I am going to then take the first part. Welcome to Bark Bites, okay, branded keyword. 
paste that in there. Now, style-wise, I just want to change that ever so slightly. So I am just going to change the font to be 18 pixels. Color-wise, let's just have it white as well. So very, very simplistic. And then great, now we need to create text for this subsection. So from here, great, write me a subtext paragraph, maybe, to sit underneath the header. All right, so this is pretty long. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, if, if we put this in, that will show us how big that is. Okay, so it's not terrible, but I'd like it to be smaller. So I'm just gonna ask ChatGTP. Oh, wow, it's, um, it's still writing. So here, another option could be here at Park Buy It. So we take care and source the best ingredients for your pet from organic fruits. All right, so that's pretty nice. So let's just see how big that one is. Okay, so it's still pretty big. So I actually like that one already. It reads better in my opinion. So I'm gonna say, can you make this text shorter? And put this in quote marks. Sure, here's a shorter version of the subtext poem. So it already knows it's, it's a shorter version of the subtext paragraph. So we saw the best ingredients for your fairy friend. Amazing, so already that looks a lot tidier. It's shorter, it's concise. So we can go back to the website and we can place that in there like so. Brilliant. So next we've got a read more button. So let's just say, can you give me a label for a call to action button on our pet website? Let's just see what it comes up with. Browse our selection, discover our treats, buy today, find your pup's favorite, view our treats get wholesome treats. So there's lots of options there, which is amazing. It's much better than, I mean, just to shop now or learn more and things like that. You know, we've got a lot of alternatives here. So we could say, uh, let's go with find your pup's favorite. So I'm gonna copy that, let's paste that in there. So we have a nice button. Okay, so that's the hero section in terms of text done, but now we need to work on the image. Okay, so now I've, I've used Mid Journey already. We have an image here that I'd like to use. So we do need to go into Photoshop and cut that out. Okay, so in Photoshop, what we've done is we've selected the background here we've selected the blue and we've added a mask to cut the dog out okay so the dog is cut out if I remove that background you can see that the dog's cut out I right, know I really like this blue okay I'd, I'd like to use this blue and so therefore we're just going to copy the hex code of the blue here okay now one thing that ChatGTP is really good for and what we did further up here is we physically asked it what color palette would be best for a dog website. And it's given us a couple of options. We've got earthy tones, bright and fun, muted pastels, dog colors, so using things like black, white, gray, brown, silver, and then we've got neutral colors, okay? Now we, in this instance, took it a step further and said, okay, can you give me some HTML hex codes for earthy tones? In which it did. Okay, so if you are looking for color inspiration, you can actually use chat gtp to create you some hex codes for your website design now i actually like the blue that's been generated in this mid journey image so i am going to use that so what we can do is we can come back here and now if we select here up on the hero section and we're going to change this to be the blue like so now we can't really see this text now so we just need to change that to be white like so and then we need to add our dog image so let's go back to photoshop Let's remove the background so we're left with this dog, crop it a bit more, All right, and then let's physically import, export that into a PNG. Okay, so returning back to our website, we need to change this image. So we're gonna click on the image and then click choose image, and then we're going to upload our images from here. All right, from here, let's just insert that media, and there we are with our dog image. So let's just see what our width is doing. And up the width, and there we go, there is our hero section. Okay, so already that's looking really good. Now, we haven't really gone as far to start this very well, but I'm just showing you how we can use AI to start producing content for our website. So let's just add some services. So let's just go for blocks, and let's go with benefits. Um, nothing, how strange. Um, what else we got? Features. Oh, brilliant, so we've got features. All right, so we could insert that. I right, know we have an option to create another image using Mid Journey, and then we have options to create features. So we can go back to ChatGTP and say, give me three features for our pet treats. Let's see what this comes back with. 
Right, so it's really given us a lot of ideas here. So if you are lacking inspiration, it's gonna do a good job of, uh, of giving you the inspiration that you need to make this project a reality. So from here, I wanna further this. So I want to have some text for this. Give me a short sentence for all natural ingredients. So already it's saying, here's a short sentence you could use to highlight the all natural ingredients feature of the home page. So it's already looking at previous commands and pulling that together. So here we've got all natural ingredients. So we can copy that, all natural ingredients. We can go back to ChatGTP. We could then copy this and then we could paste that one in there. And then we could go back and say, brilliant, give me a sentence for locally sourced. Okay, so we're gonna take locally sourced as one of our features. Great, so here is our paragraph or sentence. Let's click that in there, paste, locally sourced. And then we have the final one. Give me a short sentence for, and the final one was handmade with love. Let's see what it comes back here. Here's a short sentence so you could use to highlight the handmade with love feature on the homepage of your Bark Bites pet business website. So our treats are handmade with love. So let's just copy that. This is amazing. Like this is so clever. And look how easy it is for us to use no-code tools to build a website, produce content, which is something I've personally never been very good at. Um, we can very quickly start building a website. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a lot more that needs to go into this, but even as a beginner, you can go as far to you know, build something that's that's really quite good. So I'm gonna delete that, put an image in here, and we can even use Midjourney to produce as an image. Okay, so let's go back to Midjourney. Let's type Imagine, and I'm gonna go with happy dog. Okay, I want something that's really realistic. So happy dog, and I've put God treats, so let's just change that. Dog treats, um, let's see what it comes back with. Okay, so here we go, we've got some options here. So, I mean, I like any one of these. So let's go with the chocolate lab. I quite like that. So version four, so we've got the option here to upscale any one of these versions or create more versions of them. So this will just create multiple versions of a single image. So for example, if we wanted multiple versions of this one, we would just multiple, we would just hit V4 and it will create multiple versions. But I actually want to upscale V4, so I'm gonna click U4 and it will create an upscaled version of that so we can use that on the website. Okay, so here it is, it's returned our image. So what we can do is we can just literally save it from here and we can go and add that to our website. So I'm just gonna replace this image with our image. And there we go, we've got an image for our features. Now you can go as far to change the icons, change the text, change the fonts, change the colors, all sorts. Now this is real basic, real bare bones, but you can see how we're able to very quickly build a website using no code tools. We're very quickly able to produce content using ChatGTP. And then we can create really unique bespoke images using Midjourney. So hopefully you found that really valuable. I really enjoyed producing that video. Please let me know down in the comments if you are using AI in your web design process yet. And also if you found it valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button too if you haven't done so already. There is an end screen coming up with more valuable content. So make sure you go and check that out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.